there's the two different. This here is the, it's called paper birch because if you grab it, so this here is just like paper, it comes off as paper. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the aboriginals in this area or all over the world would use paper birch to make birch bark canoes. Oh, so nice. they would uh, cut it down and they take, if, you, if I pull in deeper, it's, uh, it's not so, so light, mm -hmm. it's a solid. And they would take that and make birch bark canoes uh, that were really light and, uh, and they float really well. They would also use it to write on, okay? Um, if you take it off, it's, uh, it doesn't harm the tree if you peel off the pieces that are already curling. But mm -hmm. if I'm to go and to pull off, uh, it actually makes an open wound on the tree. And uh, bug, that's where bugs and insects will come in and damage this one. Mm -hmm. This one's actually not doing so well mm -hmm. down low, but up high, it's, the leaves are strong mm -hmm. up high. Um, these trees are also very, very good for lighting fires. Okay, mm. uh, I can take this and use this as a fire starter to light the fire. <laughs> and the dead branches that are down here are really, really good. Uh, it's a really nice dry wood and it's really good for starting fires. So that's the paper birch. 